you're not ready. Oh, babe, I'm almost done here. Come on, you're not supposed to be late on your first day. I know. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Eat some breakfast, okay? Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where's Junior? He's ready, he's ready. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm going to bring you lunch if that's okay for you. Yes, yes. Of course, that's fine. Okay, I can't do this, babe. Mm. 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 I love you. Finish your breakfast. I'm going to finish it for me, all right? All right. Have a nice day. Yeah. You're welcome to Eagles High Property. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I, I promise to do my best to take this company to greater heights where it already is. Yes. Mm. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. So you're yeah, showing me to his own place? All right, sir. This way, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I won't disappoint you. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Yeah. Who's that lady? Oh, that's Mr. Martin's wife, the new manager. Is there a problem, sir? No, no. She um she looks like somebody I know. Yeah. Are the investors here? Oh yeah, they're in the boardroom. Okay. Grab my laptop. Is my baby sleeping on the couch? I was waiting for you. Look at the time. Uh, I'm sorry, honey. It's a meeting with the foreign investor as you took into the night. You know how important the contract is for the company. I know. Tell me you got the contract. Honey, you need to see my presentation. I was talking, I was talking at some point, I'm like, ah. Maybe this, you know, <laughs> was so good. Of course, I got it completely. Oh, yes. wow. <laughs> That's so good to hear. Mm. Hmm. Impressive. I'm sure your boss will be really happy. Of course, he has no choice. <laughs> he should be. <laughs> ah, you must have had a very stressful day. Yeah. Freshen up and let me fix your dinner, okay? Okay, babe. Welcome. Welcome. I'll join you, Sean. Kiss, kiss. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'll rush up. Ah. <sighs> We're saying the same thing. We're actually saying the same thing. Just fix a date, all right? We'll come for the presentation and that's it. It's not something that, um, there's no hard and fast rule to these things, you know? Yeah, just fix an appointment. I have to call you back. Nora, let me call you back. Nora! 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 Nora, excuse me. What is it? Nora, I'll be calling you. I'll be giving me death to you. Why? 
What is it? I like you. I love you. I don't love you. But I love you. I said I don't love you. You're broke. You know I'm a student. All those guys driving Benz, are they not your mates? Everybody have their own grace. Please, God's time is the best. When you make money, come to me. Oh my goodness, Bernard! In the flash! Wow! <laughs> oh my God! I can't believe my eyes. Why? Yes, it has. <laughs> you know, the other day I saw you coming out of this company, and I was I wasn't really sure if it was you because I saw it from a distance. Really? Well, now looking at you, this beautifully designed. Oh, you don't know how much I've missed you. Oh my God! I've missed you. Yes, and you still look as gorgeous as ever. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> this beautiful angel is married now with a kid. My husband oh. works here. I bring him lunch every day. Your husband works here? Yeah, yes he wow. does. <laughs> Obviously we have a lot to catch up on. Oh yes, we do. <laughs> you mind if I drop you? Yes. Yeah, sure. Look at you. Ben, oh. oh wow. How have you been? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this right now. <laughs> My little paradise. Wow. It's beautiful. <laughs> so what do I offer you? Um, we've had enough, so I'm okay. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> so. So. <laughs> Why are you still single? Let's just say, I've been waiting for our paths to cross again. You know you're lying. No, I'm not. Um, I'm sorry, uh, uh, I have to go pick up my son from school. It's, it's really late right now. Can I drop you off? No, no, it's fine. I'll be fine. I'll be okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for dropping me again, Ben. Come on. It's nothing. It's actually my pleasure. <laughs> but I'm very curious though. Okay. How were you able to, able to land such a successful company in such a short period of time? <laughs> you mean one of my companies, right? Wow, yeah. one of your companies? Yeah. That's you mean you have more companies than this? Yeah, that's just a um, subsidiary. Wow. <laughs> well, uh, nothing serious. Let's just say it's hard work. You know, dedication and consistency. That's what all the motivational speakers say. Is that not so? <laughs> <laughs> wow, you are. That's really impressive. I know. I know. Honey, mm -hmm. how are you? How was your day? Hmm? Yeah, I'm fine, too. I'm okay. Are you okay? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, just freshen up. I'll get something for you to eat, okay? All right? Are you okay? I'm fine. Do 
¿Y de ahí o qué? No, you are not. No, you can tell me whatever it is, right? Babe. These days you engage in long conversations with my boss each time you bring me lunch. What? No, it's not... It's not what? Are you trying to deny it? Because I've been observing the both of you for a while now. And you're here trying to deny it? No, I am not trying to deny anything. Jesus, Martin, what is this about? I already told you, Ben is my old school mate. Old school mate and your long-time admirer who would do anything to have you as his. Hold on, like, just hold on. Martin, are you seriously suspecting me now? I wasn't suspecting you. But not until I start noticing the sugar face you have whenever he's talking to you. Sugar face? What are you talking about? Martin, what are, what are you going on about? Like, this is not... I need your food. Thank you. Martin, what are you talking... Oh, no, this is not happening. Martin! Babe! Baby, the breakfast is ready. Yeah, don't worry, I'll take off you when I get to the office. You're not serious, are you? And don't bother bringing me lunch. I don't want you to stress yourself again. Babe, what's going on? I'm not complaining, I love bringing you lunch. I'm sure you do. I'm complaining for you now. Don't bring me lunch again. Have a good day. What's wrong with this man? <laughs> Mr. Martin, are you alright? Mr. Martin? Oh, Sonia. You looked a bit lost when I walked in. I've never seen you look so depressed before. I'm fine. Is that the fire? Oh, yeah. Here it is. Um, Mr. Martin, please take it easy on yourself, okay? Whatever it is. Thank you, Sonia. I'll help you. Okay. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Yeah, Junior, I'm sorry, it's good evening. Why are you the one bringing him back? Where is the mother? I was about asking the same question, sir. School dismissed three hours ago. Waited for her, she didn't show up, so I decided to bring him home myself before going home. Thank you very much, Educator Thank Doris. You, I really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Yes. So I take wasn't this. really expecting this. Uh, it's okay. Just take it for transport. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Thank you. Bye, Junior. Bye, educator. All right. Dad, hmm? why didn't someone come pick me as usual? Yeah, I'm surprised myself. But it's okay. That is here now. All right? Let's go in so I can fix you that your favorite thing. Seriously? I'm doing it today. Guess who is your lucky day? Yeah. Don't worry. Just let me...
Oh my god! What have I done? Is there a problem? Penny, how could you do this to me? Look at the time. What about the time? Are you being serious right now? It's past 8 pm. Oh god, how could I have been so stupid? I didn't even go to pick my son from school. What am I supposed to say to my husband when I get home now? I don't know why you allow yourself to get worked up over nothing. What did you say to me right now? <laughs> Look, the moment he says it's done, I'm ready to walk you down the aisle. I'm ready to get married to you. You actually deserve better. I have to go. <laughs> Here we are. Thank you so much, Ben. For what exactly? For the shopping and everything. Like, I have not had this much fun my entire life. A beautiful angel like you deserves every bit of it. I would even like to buy you a car if I had the chance. What? Yes. I'm only worried that you might not know how to present it to your husband. You know, you must start suspecting. He already is suspecting. Yeah. Then I don't know why you're doing all this. I mean, I'm, I'm married. I want you to listen. Married or not, I'm crazy in love with you. I've always been, and I still am. Do you understand? Has it got into this now? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? It's past 9 p.m. and you're just coming back home. Who left this house? God knows when. Please, Martins, please. This is the last thing I need right now. I am stressed. I'm sorry I came home late. Okay? But have you even tried to ask me why? Do you know why I came home late? What if I ran into trouble or something? Is that the woman I married talking? <laughs> I am your wife, not your maid. You hear me? I see you actually enjoy having me in this house 24 hours, staying home all day doing chores without going outside to get fresh air. You really love that, don't you? And what's that? Oh, this. An old friend who knows my value got me this today. Something my husband has never done all his life. Are you talking to me like that? Oh, the hell I'll talk to you anyhow I want. Please, please. I don't want any form of problem today. I need a cold bath. And I need to rest. Nora. Look, I'm not done talking, Nora. <sighs> Nora, I hope you know what you're doing. your manners like you walk into my office without knocking really is that what you have to say what gave you the guts to go out with my wife and buy her gifts wait, wait, let me guess are you that weak of a man that you cannot find all these small single girls to hang out with you're actually talking to me like that really a couple of months ago you stood right there looking hungry begging me for a job and then today you're standing there and talking to me in this manner. Let me warn you. If I see you close to my wife again, you will see the best in me. I promise you that. Now there's a limit to what I can take. It's obvious you do not want this job again. So why don't you walk out of my office and walk out of this company? I will not repeat myself, Martin.
I fired him. You did what? Come on, babes. You're better off without that man, all right? You and I together, we could rule the world. We could do things together. Think about it. I mean, that's a nobody. What are you doing with him in the first place? It's all right. Imagine the F on two. You see what your insecurity has cost you? You've lost your job. A job you hunted for years. Now you threw it away and for what? What was I supposed to do? Pretend like everything is normal? While I watched that fool that calls himself my boss trick you into leaving me for him? Well, now you've lost your job, Martin. What's your next move? I don't worry about it. We'll be fine, one way or another. I'll get another job, a uh, better one for that matter. Sorry, what? We, who is we? Like, you and I? You must be crazy. Whoever is convincing you that I'm going back to the life of poverty with you must be stupid and insane. You know what? This is it. This is goodbye for us because I'm done. Are you joking? Do I look like a comedian to you? You know what? Why am I, who am, who am I lying to? Why am I pretending? Let me break it to you, okay? Ben and I have been having an affair. Yes, you were right. In fact, we're crazy in love with each other. <laughs> Excuse you, what are you trying to do? Hit me? You wouldn't dare. You see this shackle called marriage? I quit. No, So you're willing to throw everything we've shared away because of him? <laughs> Including Junior, our son. Oh, please. Junior will be perfectly fine wherever he is. Okay? And as for us, what we shared, all we have ever shared since I married you is poverty and suffering. In fact, I used to wonder, like, what's really the problem? What, what's going on? But after what you did today, I've come to understand that you're destined for poverty and suffering. Excuse me. No, no, no. no. Babe. Baby. Hi. Hi. I hope you're here to stay. I'm not going anywhere. Come here. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> That's the best decision. I hope so. You have nothing to worry about. So let me um, take your things upstairs. Yep. And of course, take you to the most important part of the house. <laughs>
Daddy, Daddy, are you right? Huh? Hey, Junior. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that is fine, eh? That is okay. Uh. Things are going to be different for a while now, okay? I haven't seen mom for a while. Did she travel? Mom? Uh, yeah, yeah. Mom traveled. And she's not coming back anytime soon. Hmm? I don't understand. Don't worry. You'll understand someday. Okay? Mm. How far, my guy? Oh, I do. Hey. Oh, my. Oh, How is business now? You don't see us today now. We thank God. I <laughs> God, do they look? And some days are like that. Eh? I understand. You just have to take it easy. Make I just find you something way cool. Just hold on. <laughs> this one too much. Martins. <laughs> nah, just hold this person. Oh, my. Thank you. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Martins. Hey. Where is uh, Martins Jr.? Oh, my boy. He's not back from school yet. But they should be closing very soon. Eh, uh -huh. Martins, that reminds me. If you ask me, I would advise you should withdraw him from that school. Yes, you know, things are not the way they are meant to be. And the school fees is very high, you can't afford it now. Moses, I want to give my boy the best education any child would ever dream of. See, I know, I understand. How do you intend to get 270,000 Naira every time for his school fees? And life is so unfair. What is, you know my story now. After our graduation, you know, I went job hunting from one place to the other, submitting CVs. But yet, nothing came out. Not until I dived into my sewing business. And you, you, you got yourself a mat watering job. And I was happy when you told me about it. I can't, I, I, I just imagine, I can't even believe that you could come back to this level. And if he beats my imagination, I would never believe that Nora could be so cheap and stupid. Uh, Momo, you see. <coughs> The truth is, I I left all this behind. And because say they talk and everything just doesn't make me you know. But we move on, right? I'm just upset. The reason I'm annoyed is the fact that this happened at the earliest stage of my employment. I didn't get to save enough at all that is paying me. Well, God is faithful, at least I'm able to put food on the table for me and my boy with this man's small business. That's what matters to me now. That's all. Yeah. It is well. It is well, Martin. Mm -hmm. You know, I have the strong belief that there is opportunity out there that we will someday stumble upon and it will catapult us from here to the top. <laughs> I so much believe in that. You see, you see why you're my real G? Bomo! Nothing will ever shake you, my guy. Always positive. <laughs> what Always. I, what can I do? <laughs> what can I do? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We'll move on. What yeah. doesn't kill you, make you stronger. You understand? <laughs> you are stronger now. No, not to we worry. We will really try our best. Ah, we can only. Uh, uh, hey. We can only. Eh, uh, Martins, make a day. Make a day. Okay, but don't forget your day. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Martins. No, 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 no. Thanks, sir. Thanks for dropping by. No problem. I appreciate it. Eh? Aha. Aha. No? Okay. <laughs> My man! You know, I can't believe I have you to myself. Well, let's just say I've always known that I was meant for you alone. I just couldn't realize it earlier. And I hope you're going to stay. Babe, I'm not going anywhere. But of course, you know you have to promise me you're wedding soon. 
Oh, that. Yes, that. Well, that's already in the works, so we have nothing to worry about. <laughs> I love you very much. I love you more. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Quickly, eh? go and brush your teeth. So we can go to shop. You know it's Saturday, and we need to be there very early. Don't worry, eat breakfast here, okay? Hmm? Go. I had the dream. Dream. Right. Tell me about your dream. A woman told me to give you something. I woke up and wrote it down. A woman told you to give me something in your dream. What is that? It's a letter and number mixed together. She said I should give it to my daddy. Letters and numbers? <laughs> Junior. <laughs> Just go and dress. Ah, and dress you've thrown it away. Oh, no, 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 it fell. Come uh, on, it just fell down, eh? <clears throat> but what is that is supposed to do with this now? I don't know. Okay. Fire, oh, yeah. quickly. Don't brush your teeth so we can go. Hmm? Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> without knocking. Have you lost your mind? I I'm sorry, sir. Get out. Get out of my office! But, sir, the... the I said get out! You want me to use force? Apparently, that's the only language you understand. Such a rude bitch. Can you imagine? Why was she standing here when you told her to leave? Anyways, where were we? I was here. <laughs> <laughs> was that not Martin's wife I saw in there? This is very, very confusing. You know, I actually thought I was mistaking you for somebody else. But now I can see that it's you. I beg your pardon? You don't need to beg for it. Wow! So how do you feel doing what you're doing? What's your reason for cheating on your husband with his ex-boss? Christ! And who are you? Who are you that you think you have the right to meddle in my affairs? Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm a nobody. But you need somebody to tell you the truth. And the truth is there's nothing more shameful than what you're doing. Oh, really? Yes! Shame <laughs> prefect. Huh. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hmm. Excuse me. Shame prefect. Can you just... Ah, ah Martins. What happened? You called me. Where's my boy, you? Your, your boy? What happened to him? Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. He, 
You woke up this morning and gave me these numbers that some woman gave it to him in his dreams to give to me. I, I don't just understand. This is strange. Yeah. It's like a code. Code. What hold on. Code? Just hold on. Martins! This is, a, this is the best code, though. Betting code as a game or something. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's very funny. Oh, well, you can keep it. You follow them. <laughs> this is the most impossible betting code I've ever seen. Stake, stake 1,000 naira and win 35 million naira. What? <laughs> What's funny? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Just forget about it. Forget it, man. This is a waste of time. What I say? Waste, waste of time. time? How do you mean? Hey, guy. If this is how people become millionaires, all these boys wait on the bet since they don't turn millionaire finish now. Well, people don't give people betting code in the dream all the time. Don't talk about your your little boy, Martins. Come on, let's let's give it a try. What I say? Say make I bring out one thousand naira. Now, you know what you want as I'm being? At least you me for me and my boy now. See, I understand. But, my brother, 35 million, no? 1,000 era, 35 million. Think I'm now. See, Nobis, if I give you this money and you know what? You go pay back my money, oh. See, Martins, me, I go still use my own money. 1,000, no, be your mate, oh. 35 million era. Me, I go still use my own, no. Ha. Jay, see him. No need to wait See, I understand. See, you know what's happening? Just give me no a minute. Are they come? No worries. Are they come? Hi. Babes, is everything okay? You won't believe the kind of insult your account manager, whatever it is you call her, just leveled on me downstairs. Baby, just calm down and talk to me. What happened? I was just leaving and then she appeared from nowhere and started to call me names. Said I'm the most useless woman on, uh, and the most shameless woman on this planet and even called me a prostitute. Can you imagine that? No, she wouldn't dare. She called you that? What gave her the guts to do that? Oh, so what are you saying? I'm making this up? Is that what you're saying? Sonia, I want you in my office at once. This is Raspikin, sir. Sonia is not sit at the moment, sir. Now, I want you to find her and tell her to report at my office immediately. Not more than five seconds. Hmm. All, right, All right, sir. I've never been so insulted in my entire life. Babe, calm down, all right? I'm sorry about this, but she'll soon be here. Sonia. Huh? I want you to tell me what gave you the right, the temerity, the, the guts to talk to my guest the way you did. I'm sorry, sir, but I only told her how dangerous the game she's playing is. That's all. How dare you? But, sir, this is unfair. A man complained that he didn't like your closeness with his wife, and instead of apologizing and doing the right thing, you had him sacked, and you took over his wife. I mean, is that really necessary? There are several single ladies out there, beautiful ladies for you to choose from. Why must it be somebody else's wife? I want you out of my office. Sir? And when you do that, don't bother coming back. You are but done. What's up? Don't make me push you. Get out! Oh, it's fine. 
Apple and Gary. Which one are we going to eat? Ah ah. Martins himself. <laughs> Martins himself. Ah, ah Junior. How are you? How are you? Hey, hey, hey Martins, I'm so sorry I couldn't make it to your shop. You know, I've been stuck with work. A lot of work in my table, man. I don't even see road. My guy, you need not worry yourself. I'll be. As you they go. Eh, hey, hey, so soon. Me, I won't try to reach my mind the shop. Yeah, no man, no man. Hey, hey, by the way, have you have you checked your game? That game? Wait how they take check that thing, self. Hey. Ah. You know, say that your now your click. Lay your tickets. You know, see, as I did, I don't even check when are they work. Ticket. Don't even drop that thing, right? I don't hold them all. Daddy. You know hold them? Yeah. I have the tickets. <laughs> Junior, that's my boy. See, Martins, mm. without this ticket, if you win, there is no how you can collect money. Yeah, now so you That's why I guide that with my life. How did they take check this thing, sir? Just give me a minute. Make I make I make I check him. Oh no, they check this thing. Oh, you go use phone check. Ah, now so now you know say the way this whole this thing be. What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait here. You see there? Yeah. Yeah. What's it? What's this? What? Ben! Shit. Baby, who is she? Who is who? Are you crazy? Did you just freaking say me right now? This is beautiful. Is this our new home? Hmm. Yes, Junior. This is our new home. Does God has smiled at us one more time. Does it mean I'll continue to go to my old school? <laughs> Your old school? Look, I have something better in mind. If you like, we'll change school if you want. Okay. No, I love my school. Wow! <laughs> Are you happy? Mm. Dad. Okay. Your school it is. <laughs> so um I'm thinking. I want to get us a housemaid. Someone who will do the house chores, take care of you, you know, stay with you when I'm not around. What do you think? I think so. Will be good. It is, yeah? Good. But will she be my mommy? Mom? No, no, no. She won't be your mommy. Just a maid, okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. That's my boy. Ah. Come here. I love you, boy. Love you too, Daddy. You can sit. Um, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Junior, my boy, how are you? Fine. You okay? So this is my son, Junior. Okay. Your duty is to make sure he's happy all the time. Okay, sir. You take care of him. Once he's happy, 
you have no problem with me. Okay, sir. Now that's your first duty. The second duty is to make sure that this house is clean, sparkling clean. Am I understood? Yes, sir. I promise to do my best. Good. Yes, sir. So take your back to the visitor's room, second room to the left. Okay. That'll be where you'll be staying. Okay. That'll be all. Okay, I'll take this second. Yes, sir. Mm. All right, sir. Thank right. you, sir. So tell me what happened in school today. We were given a question and an answered all. Everything? Yes. Yeah, that's my boy. You see, when I was younger, <laughs> I used to come first in class. Welcome, sir. Welcome, yeah, thank sir. you. What are you doing? I, I want to help you take your bag to your room. Don't do that next time. Your job is to take care of my house, which means cleaning the house and doing whatever my boy wants you to do for him. Now stay far away from whatever that concerns me if you still want to keep this job. Am I clear? Jeez. What was that all about? <sighs> okay. I don't like the way your dad is treated me today. Just because I wanted to help him bring his bag to his room. He started shouting at me like I'm a little girl. I'm sorry, Atavera. My dad is a nice man. Maybe someone made him angry. Really? Are you sure? Yes. Don't be angry. <sighs> okay, no problem. So. Should we play our usual game? Yes. Like, like. <laughs> man like Moses. Yeah, yeah, Martin. My brother, sit down, please. Sit, sit, sit. Always nice good place to see you. Got. No, no. <laughs> We're still chilling, you know? Right. <laughs> please. Please, what can I offer you? Oh, well, you're my brand. I wouldn't mind. Of course, <laughs> I have your brand. What are you saying? Uh, Vera! Sir! Uh, get me the, uh, yes, the brandy at the shelf, okay? Okay, sir. Good. Oh, man. Hey! Moses! <laughs> oh, more. Money good, though? I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> <laughs> so, how far, how, how, how is everything? How, how far have you gone with the fam? Ah, oh, man. I just realized I need that uh, extra 10 million to add to what I have. Hmm. You know, just to boost it up to the standard I need. It's crazy. That's huge. I know, I know. It's really huge. But, but I'm thinking, I think I should get a loan. You know, that should help a little bit. Uh, yeah. Martins. <laughs> Martins. I know. <laughs> you know, for that loan, that won't be necessary. Yeah. I will lend you the money. <laughs> what? what? Wait, what's going on? Are, are you surprised? I mean, if not for your boy, I wouldn't be smiling this bright. And I would lend you the money and you can pay wherever you choose to. <laughs> Mo. Martin. Mo. <laughs> Money good though. Yes, you the talker. Ah, I feel. Oh, money good though. Man, but jokes apart, thank you so much. Well, thank you, I appreciate, man. I appreciate. It. It's a really long way for me. Thank you, Martins. You don't need to thank me. I mean, what are friends for? Brother for life. 
<laughs> Coming from shit. way back, you know. You know? <laughs> Where is this brand? Vera! I think oh. I should get it myself. Oh, okay, but okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Is this? Sir? No, man. What nonsense are you wearing? Are you trying to say this to me or something? Oh, Jesus, no, sir. No, Jesus, no, sir. Now, Vera, let me warn you. Indecent dresses such as this will not be tolerated in this house. Am I understood? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Get, 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 get out of my side. Put on something de decent. Okay, sir. Look, 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 look at her. Oh, you think I'm that kind of man you come and seduce with sexy dress? You, you. Huh? Welcome back, sir. Yeah, thank you. Excuse me, sir. Sir, how was work today? Work was fantastic. Okay, sir, I made your favorite. You can come for it when you freshened up. I don't get you. As what exactly? I mean, who told you about my favorite? Gina told me about it, so I decided to make it for you. I can't believe this. So Junior told you about my favorite and you decided to make it for me? Yes, sir. To what purpose exactly? Nothing, sir. Just dinner. What is it with you ladies? Sir, I don't understand you. What do you mean? You do everything possible to play it nice at first. Knowing very well you're a devil in an angel's form. Just to make a man accept you. Sir? And the moment they do, boom! The devil in you pops up. Sir. No, man! Your job is very simple. Do the house chores and take care of my little boy. Cooking was never part of the agreement. Now I don't need to remind you again to stick to why you are here. Otherwise, I'll be forced to throw you out of my house. What? What? No, no, no. Go ahead and eat this. Rubbish, you call my favorite. Or better still, just throw it away. You're one, Vera. You're one. Huh? What kind of a man is this? What, what, what? Did, you, did you say something? Uh, no, sir. I didn't say anything, sir. Take out this rubbish. Babes. Babe, I know I messed up. Alright, then that's why I've come to apologize. And to show you how sorry I am, I got you this gift. I don't want your gift. Now please go. Babe, you might want to open the bag and find out what the gift is. 
It's your favorite Samsung S20. And the SUV parked outside. What? Yeah. Did you go me car? I did. You know. Come on, I won't do it again. Promise. Cross my heart. Why is it on I love you. Oh my god. I know. And I love you too. <laughs> Let me go see my car. You're being too harsh on that girl. Look, I hate when they try to play it cool at first. They try to play it innocent. What are you talking about, Martins? Yes, I know Nora hurts you so much. But it's not even one I would choose wealth over love of family. Oh, well, Nora did. She did. She, she used to be this loving, caring woman. She was the most beautiful woman in the world. And what did she do? What did she do? She left. Moses, I was working. At least I was making cash. She was lacking nothing. <laughs> Marcus, what, what are you talking about? Wait, I you heard about a saying. Do not give me a fish. I want all the fishes. Yes, your boss finds her attractive and she wants to be the boss lady. Exactly Come on. what I'm saying. <laughs> You must have enough money for you to keep one woman. Because if you don't, trust me, she will leave you for the bigger fish. Uh-uh. I disagree with it. I disagree with that, trust me. It's not every man that has that mindset. Well, what about you? I think you you need to give love a chance again. Yeah. You've mourned your failed marriage for too long, bro. Trust me. Give love a chance again. Oh well. I was once married. It's your turn to get married, bro. Is it what? Is that for me? No, it's for me. <laughs> now you go marry now. No. Mm -mm. No. That definitely not. We for have me. to start planning. Planning for who? No, make you see a test and see the be. I don't. <laughs> no, no, they tell me that. Martin. Kind of thing. What are you doing here? I'm sorry, sir. I'm trying to arrange your room. Uh, are you normal? Are you okay? Have I not want you to mind your business in this house? Excuse me, sir, but I haven't done anything. You've done everything wrong! Everything! No, 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 let me warn you. Don't you ever, ever step your foot into this room. Now get out of here! Get out! <laughs> I'll catch you. <laughs> I'll catch you. <laughs> you think I can't catch you, right? Okay. Try this. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Teaching my son. I was teaching how to. You didn't just study. Oh my God. Have I not warned you to stick to your duties in this house? But why are you teaching my son? Oh, you are teaching how to flirt with women. Is that it? How to misbehave? That's what you're teaching my son. Well, I was first trying to teach you. Will you shut up? <laughs> so this is your plan. Oh, I see. <laughs> You came to this house to come up with my boy? <laughs> right? What were you teaching him? How to use his money and power to take other people's wives? Is that what you're teaching my son? How to flirt with women? How okay it is to, to, to go for other people's wives? That's what you're teaching my son in this house. 
I see you came to corrupt my boy. Now it's clear to me. What is this? What is all this? For crying out loud. Just because I'm working for you doesn't give you the right to talk to me and treat me like a slave you bought from the pit side. What is it? You're my boss, yes, and I deserve some respect too. You needed the asset, I applied, and you willingly accepted me. You willingly employed me. And if I'm tired of this, you, I'm tired of this abuse, I'm tired of everything you did to me. Anyway, I'm leaving your job and your house. Don't say it. She told it to me. Daddy, why? She did nothing wrong. Please don't let her leave. Because if she leave, I will go with her. You don't go. Baby, I have to go. Okay? Let's take care of yourself. Hmm? What is going on here? Mr. Martins, I'm leaving your house. And before I leave, I want to create an impression. I will never throw myself cheaply at any man. Never. I'm a degree holder in business administration. I settled for this job because all my efforts to get a job prove I've brought him. All you bosses ever want is to get in between the legs of a girl just because they are desperately in need of a job. I'd rather become a farmer than sell my pride for money. Okay, now that's ridiculous. It's not all men. I have never and will never demand sex before employing any of my workers. So you know, everybody is not the same. And you treated me the way you did just because of what your ex-wife did to you. I told you about that. Please don't go. No, baby, I have to leave. Just take care of yourself, okay? Mr. Martin, have a good life. All right, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. I've not... I've not been fair on you. And for that, I'm sorry. But you can't just leave now. I, I promise to change, okay? I promise. At least for my boy's sake. He seems to be fond of you. Always happy around you. In fact, I, I would double your salary. Okay. I will only stay on one condition. That you stop treating me like I'm a nobody. You allow me to do my job. I'm someone special daughter too. Alright, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll stop. Just... Just take care of my kid, okay? Will you stay? I'll stay because of you, baby. I'll stay.
Uh, when are you bringing the extra bottle? I'm not drunk. Ah. Drunk. I need one more bottle. Come on, you're drunk. Get me my bottle here. What are you doing? No, 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 no. You're drunk. You're drunk. No, no, no. My drink, my drink, my drink. You are drunk. Give me my drink. You are drunk. You are drunk. You are drunk. Sir, what's wrong? What's wrong with him? Sir, to be this way. I mean, too much. I can't do you too. Sir, yeah. So I'm a man. The real man. It's okay, sir. Ah. Just easy, easy, please. Oh, you two are taking charge, yeah? Yeah, easy, sir. Oh my really god. I take charge. Ah. It's okay. okay. You'll be fine. Yeah. Ah. I need one more bottle. Oh, oh my god! Oh, sir, easy, sir. I'm easy. Easy, sir. Easy. Yes, sir. I'll take it easy on you. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Thank you so much for bringing him home safely. It's Last fine. Time. <laughs> you seem to know him so well. Please tell me. My name is Sonia. We used to be colleagues a few years ago. Okay. Yeah. And I'm Vera, the house head. Nice to meet you, Vera. Nice meeting you too. Wow, it's quite late and it's 11 p.m. Yeah. already. So what are you going to do? I don't know. And I don't live around here. We spend so much time trying to locate this place. Okay. Why don't you sleep here then? Leave tomorrow morning. I mean, it's quite late and risky, you know, to walk at this ungodly hour. You can sleep in my room while I sleep here. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll sleep on the couch. Are you sure? Yes, I'll be fine. Thank you. <laughs> All right, it's no problem. Let me get you a pillow. All right, thank you. Just make yourself comfortable. Okay, thank okay. you. I'll be right back. Okay, so good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Thank you. All right, thank you. Ah, she's so nice and pretty too.
Hej. Sonja. Sonja. Hej. Good morning. Good morning, Sonja. Sorry, I... I was very tired. I guess that's why I overslept. It's fine. Uh, <clears throat> well, look, um, I'm sorry about last night. Uh, <sighs> sorry for putting you through the trouble. No, stop it. Look, we've not seen each other for a long time, and for us to meet in that mood, I feel embarrassed. Martin, really, it's fine. But what happened? You drank too much. I'm sorry, I, I was just thinking about my whole life. How things used to be between me, my ex-wife, and my son. How happy we used to be together. It was just too much. I, it disorganized me. Oh no, Matt. I'm so sorry. Well, after I had issues with Mr. Ben, because I told him how badly he treated you, and he fired me, I tried reaching out to you, but then I realized I didn't have your private number. He fired you? Oh, that's past tense now. But, Martin, you shouldn't let that bother you anymore. You're doing very well for yourself, and you have your son to take care of. And I'm sure soon enough you'll find yourself a good woman who will be nothing like that trash you married. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Please. Apology is not accepted. She's worse than a trash. Well, why don't you freshen up and join us for breakfast? Oh no, I have to go home now. Please, I insist. Please. Martin, really, don't insist. I have an appointment by nine. But I promise to come check up on you some other time. That's if you don't mind. I would love that. Okay. Must you go? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> All right. Um, I have to go. Well, <laughs> least I can do is drop you off, okay? Okay. Thank All you. Right. Uh, where? Where's my car key? Oh, I got that. Yes, sir. What does it look like? I'm making lunch. Wait. <laughs> you think I can't cook? No, not that. Just that I'm surprised seeing you cooking for the first time. Mm. Anyway, it smells nice. Oh, no, no, no. You leave the smell out of this. Just wait until you've tasted my recipe. <laughs> you wish you eat my food every day. Nah, someone is bragging. No. Just wait at the dining with uh, Junior. Lunch will be served very soon. Okay, sir, no problem. yourself comfortable. Oh, what about Martin? Um, he just went upstairs to have his bath before okay. you came. Okay. He'll be down with you shortly. All right. Thank okay. you. All right. Um, uh, okay, I'll be back. I'll be back. Let me get okay, something. Okay. So, well, you remember what I told you, right? Can we go? Which games? Hey. Ah. hey! How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> Good afternoon, Martin. Hi, Sonia. You're welcome. Thank you. Good to hug. <laughs> Dad, she's the one that always comes to my dreams. What? 
Are you serious? Yes, she gave me the number to give you. Okay, what's he talking about? J Junior, there's this woman he says that appears. A, a good dream, though. Junior, are you, are you sure? Are you serious? Yes, she promised to come in person someday, and she did. Okay, this is strange and funny. <laughs> is this not fate? No, no. Junior can make this up. He can't. May he recognize her at first sight. <laughs> wow. So she has been the key to my good fortune all this while. Sir, do you want my opinion? Your opinion? On what exactly? For some time now, you've been wondering if she's the one or not. I think she's the one. Vera, who are you talking about? What are you saying? And I know that you love her. Love? <laughs> who? Sonia, of course. I mean, no one can be a better mom to Junior than she. Hmm. Really? But he sees you as his best friend. Yes, I love him. But Sonia is going to show you what true love really means. <laughs> Vera, are you sure you're still my house help or my advisor now? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, sir, um, what can I get you for lunch? Just get me rice. I'm good. Okay, sir. I'll mm. be back. I guess someone is looking really excited today. <laughs> Babe, excited is an understatement, okay? Okay. I have wonderful news. Okay. <laughs> Spill. I'm having your baby! <laughs> Babe, I have not been feeling so well for some time now, so I tried to go to the hospital and the doctor just confirmed. I am three weeks pregnant! Babe, you're going to be a dad! Shut up. Okay, now. What? I, I think you're supposed to be happy. I'm sure you forgot to ask the doctor who the father of that baby in the stomach is. Excuse you? Of course you're the father of this child. You lost your mind. Ben! Listen, the person you should be breaking this news to is your husband. Oh, how could I forget? You shamelessly left him because you want it all. Right? And you think I'll walk down the aisle with you? After shamelessly leaving your husband and your son to follow a wealthy man because I promised you a better life. Just stop it. You leave my house right now. What do you girls call yourselves? Wise? <laughs> You're foolish. And let me remind you, I am the man that you refused to date years ago. Because I couldn't afford to take care of myself, let alone take care of you. Why am I going on and on? Get out of my house. And stop this joke right now. You think I'm joking? I'm going to say this for the very last time. Get out of my house. What? Get out of my what? house. <laughs> Me! I think I'm joking? I said get out of my house! Have you lost the damn mind? Ah. 
Hey, Mads. Hey, what's up? Are you here already? Uh, Martin, I'm trying to book a cab. Is everything okay? Oh, well, all is well. But I need to see you now or a lot of things will go wrong. Oh, Martin, don't do anything stupid, okay? Just wait. I'll be there very soon, okay? Cab, cab, cab. Nora, what are you doing here? I thought I told you never to step foot in my compound again. So this, this is the reason why you have ruined my life completely. Hey, bitch, you should know when to quit. My man here says he doesn't want you around anymore. For your information, we are preparing for our wedding. So if I were you, bounce. Jesus. Come on, Nora, come on, put down the gun. Ruined my life. And now you want to leave me for this? For this? Nora, put down the gun. Please, my sister. Eh? I promise to stay far away from your man. This whole thing is just a prank, oh. Eh? What's a prank? Please start alive first now. Nora, put down the, the gun. It hasn't got into this, alright? Just put down the gun. <laughs> Who the hell you two? Sonia, when I think about the future, I like to picture the both of us like threes growing side by side with our roots growing firmly together as the years goes by and our children sprouting like seedlings all around us. I know life throws a lot of challenges, but I'm willing to face it. If only you'll be there for me. Maxi, I, 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 I don't know what I would do if you say no. So just save both of us the stress and say yes. Sonia, will you marry me? Are you happy? Uh. <laughs> Come here. Mm. Yeah, we're standing by. We are right in the estate. Oh, she's coming out. I can see her. I can see her. That's she. Freeze! Madam Nora, you are under arrest for the murder of Mr. Bell and one Miss Abigail. 
who have the right to remain silent because whatever you say or do here can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to a lawyer, but if you can't afford one, the state will provide you one. Move it. Sergeant, move her.